gorgeous, something like that. Uh, now, listen, he might have been knocked out of last night's nail biting World Darts Championships, but one thing that's guaranteed to put a smile on Luke the Nuke's litless face is his beloved Donna Kebab. Yeah, in just a moment, Melisberg will be showing you how you can make your own version at home. But first, we're taking a very special trip to one of Luke's favourite kebab shops, Hot Spot Takeaways, all the way in Warrington. Good morning, David. <laughs> Good morning, Ryan, and good morning, Josie. Now, as you just saying, as well as his love of darts, he's also been sharing his love of kebabs on his social media. And whilst he's still licking his wounds after his defeat last night, I'm sure he's going to be looking forward to licking his fingers when he comes back home to enjoy his favourite Donna wrap, which is here, as you say, Josie, in Hot Spot in Warrington. Now, they've just added a new item to their menu. It's called the Luke the Nuke Donna wrap. They've opened up especially early to make it for me today. We've got Hamido, we've got Sihad here. Um, just explain how the Luke the Nuke came about, because it's, it's what he would order, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's uh, what, every time he comes back from uh, his darts and his uh, games, he comes and orders it, we deliver it to his house, we do deliveries, and uh, he, this is his special uh, order, what he orders, so he tends to order this kebab, what he's known for, so we've added it to the menu. He'll have it most days, won't he? Yeah, when he's back. Yeah, he loves it, he loves it. And it's they're not the only service that you provide for him, because you oh. also cut his hair. Yeah, I cut his hair as well, all the time, at Hamido Barber's. Um, and yeah, he comes for his kebab and his haircut. Yeah, he goes to your haircut before your night, out and kebab afterwards. Yeah, of course, and that's what he does. And Sihad, you, you were the one that introduced him to Hotspot, because you yeah. went to school with him. Was he always mad about darts at school? Yeah, he's always had a big passion for darts, he's always loved it. But he would always be working on it, practice on it, and he would usually get a lot of time off also. Uh, to, to go, go and play the darts, yeah. Play darts what did you make of the match last time. night? The match last night, I wouldn't take it as a loss. i take it as a win. Like I'd go, obviously, it would have been a bonus having uh, winning the tournament. But as the youngest person to ever win a match, the youngest person to ever go to the finals, it's crazy and it's really, really nice seeing a friend like that make it so far in life. Right, give it to me then, Sad. You've got to open it up for me. Now, um, Josie and Ryan, I've been thinking last night <laughs> what it, your dance nicknames could be. You know, if I thought long and hard about it. For you, Ryan, I've gone for Rylan the Dark Clark. Oh. He puts oh. his opponents in the shade. But Josie, like forgive me for this. The, the best I've come up with for you, Josie, is Josie... The Mel Gibson, because ah, she has a brave heart. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. My uncle is a dead ringer from Mel Gibson, and he's a Gibson. Well, what a story that, yeah, there that you go. we'll never get that thank minute you. back for. Thank you. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, David. Thank you, David. Thank you. Is it nice? Mm. Good. Yeah, Brilliant. really good. I can see why Luke loves you so much. Well, we're very jealous we're not there. However, if the Luke the Nuke kebab is giving you food envy, we've got our very own Malisberg in the kitchen to show you how to create your very own takeaway. I cannot wait for this because kebab is like my favourite. I'm so here for this. I'm so excited you're here for it because I'm excited to cook it for you. Let's so, do it. It's, I mean, obviously, when you make things at home, it's a little bit healthier. So I'm going to show you some like marinade ingredients that I use. I will make this in different ways sometimes. I'll add a bit of this and a bit of that. But this is kind of my bog standard. I have a tub of doner, which is chicken doner or chicken kebab recipe and marinade. So I always go in with some yogurt. Yogurt is a brilliant tenderizer for chicken. Mm. She's in, she's in. Go in, go straight mm. in. So I've got yogurt. You're good. Mm. All the trimmings as well, Josie. I think that's it, isn't it? It's not just the, the chicken or just the, you know, the kebab. It's everything else that goes in there. And I'm going to show you how to make that too. So I've got one of my other favourite ingredients here, which is tat le biber salt chasser, which is sweet red pepper paste. You can get a spicier version of that, but I like to adjust the spices myself. Don't worry. You, you eat. Malice, I'll keep, I'll keep cooking. I don't want you to think we're being rude, but... No, no, carry on. I just carry want on. it in my mouth. I'm here to cook. You're here to eat. It's very simple. It's brilliant. Right. Um, and I've got some Aleppo pepper or pulbiber, which are uh, red chilli flakes. And I've got some paprika. So I add the heat myself rather than using, like, a spicy right. paste. Smoked paprika, which isn't used a lot in Turkish Cypriot or Turkish cuisine, but I love the kind of natural sweetness mm. and smokiness it gives to dishes. So I've got some of that in there. I also balance out those sweet spices spices with earthy spices and I use some cumin for that. So I love cumin. My mum uses cumin in a lot of kind of kofta kebab recipes as well. It's a very kind of traditional spice to use. Well, a lot of really good health benefits cumin as well, isn't yes. it? Yes. So things, anything that's kind of, you know, turmeric, cumin, any kind of um, 
gut health um, inducing spices, we're all for it. And that's the other thing about making it at home. You can make it healthy. You know what mm. you're cooking it in. You can use things like olive oil, which I've got as well, which I prefer to use instead of, like, say, sunflower oil and things like that. I've got to be honest. You know, like, when you, you, we sit and make fakeaways, if yeah. you want to call it a fakeaway? Yeah. It never really tastes like it would, obviously, because it's a healthier and it's a... This, I can see it's a lot healthier, but tastes gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. Yep. It's, it feels like I've gone to a kebab shop and got that chicken kebab. I think Turkish food is a, quite a healthy option anyway, mm. because you've got the salads, you've got all the meats, you've got all the spices, you know. Mm. It's... That's it. And, and, you know, a lot of the ingredients are fresh. There's no processed kind of ingredients. So once I've whisked together that marinade, the chicken goes in, and these are skinless um, and boneless chicken thigh fillets. Again, you can make this with lamb, but you'd have to use, like, minced lamb, mm. and you'd freeze it. You often kind of roll it up and then freeze it all up. And it's a slightly more laborious take, um, you know, on kind of doing it this way. And once you've marinated... I'd give that, obviously, a much better mix. Once I you've... find it fascinating when people marinate me. I'm marinate. like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's just... It's, it's oh, that's like... really chefing that. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> and then obviously here's what I made out earlier. You skewer it on and I use some kind of halved onions there to balance that on. And how long and would you marinate that for? A minimum of four hours. OK, so you could do that overnight. You could do that absolutely overnight as well. And I season after I've um, marinated it because sometimes salt can really draw out the moisture. So to keep that lovely kind of crispiness once it's cooked, I prefer to season it then. It goes like that. And then to be whack fair, you it could in just the eat oven. them off the skewer, mm. couldn't you? I want to oh, say yeah. I'm like that. Don't look at me. <laughs> and Rylan, you were saying obviously it tastes like <laughs> a proper. Sorry, I was. You're about to take a bite, weren't no, you? No, they keep looking at me on that camera. Every time I take a bite, I try to time it because well, obviously my teeth that close up on camera this time of the morning, no one needs it. <laughs> well, I want to talk to you all about. You carry on eating. I'm going to talk to you all about the other things. And I've got here esme, which is Ooh. the chilli sauce, sort of tomatoes, pomegranate, molasses, onion, garlic, salt. I've got some dried mint. I've got some. And what you can do as well, actually, what's really nice is if you've got some juices from the tray there before you carve it up. Just brush that all over so you get those lovely kind of juices, those oh, marinade juices. And I've got some pickled red cabbage. So that's all the juices that have come off the meat in the yeah. oven. Yeah. And lovely. actually, obviously, this has been resting for a little while, but if it's... And here you go, you just carve straight through. Oh, we love Nice that. and thinly. Um, and I've got some, yeah, some pickled red cabbage, so there's red wine vinegar in there, sugar... Can I sugar. say, me and Josie were in bed together last night, not in that <laughs> oh, way. Excuse me? We were in our dressing gown. Have I got the thought? Oh, I've got, oh, I was telling right, me I've got sorry, stuff on my mouth. Sorry, you've got a bit of... We were in bed together last mustache. night, and I think this would have been perfect when we were laying in oh, bed last nice. night. Wouldn't it? Don't Is you that think? kind you of dreamy, kind of fake away, lie in bed, what? watch the movie? <laughs> God, let's all in my bed. <laughs> so I've also got in there, which you can probably taste, other than that lovely chilli sauce, is the yoghurt sauce here. So that's just yoghurt, mayonnaise, garlic, dried mint, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Like so Please, this is so good. In. So, so I'm here for your fake-away dreams, basically. Uh, babe, this feels like a dream, because it's <laughs> so good. Brilliant. And that goes in like that. Whisk that all up. And then, so as well as drizzling over some of that lovely yoghurt... And I don't put too much in, because I don't want it... You can serve that on the side. All in, isn't it? And then, and then yeah, exactly. It balances really out the in. spice. A little bit of esme. You know the esme? Is that yeah. just made with um, tin tomatoes? Yeah, then? I'm a proper chip. Oh, really? You can't... Listen, in, when tomatoes are really in season Great. and they're lovely and fresh in the summer, yeah. go for it. But there is no point using kind of rubbish you know, tomatoes that aren't great. So these go in. This, this screams kebab. This go in. This plate, doesn't it? This, all of it. Yeah. And then you wrap it up, bish, bash, bosh. If you roll the sides in first, it's easier to roll. Pop it up like that. Off we go. Oh, look at that. Carve oh. straight through. If you could hear our earpieces, the gallery, the noises they're making. <laughs> yeah. Fake look away dreams are made. In Melissa's kitchen. Melissa, <laughs> yes, <laughs> babe. Come true. Oh, thank you, Lou. Thank you very much. Thank you. Babe, thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. Gorgeous. This My is pleasure. gorgeous. I'm going to inhale that in the break. Enjoy. Yeah, you thank enjoy. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Now, uh, for today's recipe details and more delicious ideas from our chefs, head to our free This Morning app. Now, after the break, Dr.